hombres están mal Es muy adicto a lo que diga la gente Alright, so today we're gonna show you my full day of training, how I incorporated Olympic weightlifting with my strength lift. So today I'm working on the bench press, trying to get strong there, and then some bodybuilding movement for the upper body because I do have my aesthetic gains. If you've been following me on Instagram, this YouTube channel, I'm all about trying to gain as much muscle mass. I like to really fill this frame out. Uh, doing it naturally, of course. So in today's workout, I'm gonna incorporate my Olympic weightlifting first because that's obviously a performance goal of mine. I do compete in that sport. So I'm working on some high block snatches, and then I go on to high block clean, plus front squat, plus jerk, a nice complex there. I'm working with singles in like the low 80%, uh, and this is week four of my five week program. So really just working on uh, moving some singles, staying below my 85% threshold, because during this phase, it's a two, uh, basically two month phase, I'm doing a lot of strength work. So I'm really prioritizing bench, squat, and deadlift, trying to get those numbers up, trying to get stronger so that I can then use that strength for more of my lifts. And then also the volume is really gonna, uh, when I look at my bodybuilding movements, so today I was working on chest, back, and tricep day. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I incorporated all of that into about a 75 to 90 minute session. I was kind of dragging it a little bit in the beginning, uh, getting warmed up, but uh, in this video, make sure you guys check it out. Uh, I go over a lot of why I chose these variations from the high blocks. That's something that I struggle with. I also like it because I do, uh, it allows me to get good volume in without really like putting too much stress on my back because I, you know, I don't want to be pulling from the ground a lot if I'm already doing that in a lot of my accessory movements. And day one was also yesterday and that was a lot of lower body. So wanted to limit pulling from the floor. And so if you guys are interested in more training like this, make sure you guys do subscribe to me on Instagram. I do a lot of questions, Q and A's about how you can incorporate things. I share my workouts. And then if you guys look down on the links below, I actually have my Look Like You Lift weightlifting program. It is a 20 week weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting program geared to progress you from a base phases into strength blocks and then prepping for PRs. And throughout that whole period, we're also doing a lot of accessory work. So they have warm ups for corrective exercises and they also have accessory work to get the guns, to get the quads, and not only lift heavy, but to make it look like you do. So once again, thanks for guys for tuning in, and let's get to the workout. All right, so real quick, if you guys are in the need for some good training shorts, training pants, training tank hoodies, I cannot highly recommend more 10,000 training gear. So if you guys check it out in the links below, you can save 15% off with my code, the barbell CEO, or you can click that link and automatically applies to all of your orders at checkout. It is uh, probably one of the the coolest brands that I've been working with here, not only from the perspective of their, their products are awesome, but they are in the know, they're in the field, working out, I'm testing things, and I give them the feedback and they're taking it and they're running with it. So you guys check it out if you guys are in the need for quality, durable training gear. So here is my week four of this progression. I started off doing doubles at 75%, doubles at 77, some singles and doubles at 80%. And then in this week, week four, I'm doing four to five sets at 82 to 85 percent on my max, so that's 100 kilo right there. I work with today between 100 and 105 kilo, uh, with my max snatch being uh, 122 kilos, about 268 and a half pounds. So, when I'm working with this is when I'm getting set up, it's really focusing on extending vertically. So when I'm, you watch here when I'm getting myself pulling tight, I'm actually pushing through the floor, feeling my heels down, toes down, and I'm feeling the tension develop straight through my arms, up through my shoulders. As I extend, I'm pulling it up into the body, making sure not to jump forward or punch it forward. Uh, the next one here is a block clean, plus front squat, plus jerk. I am really bad at the high position. I end up uh, sometimes pushing my hips and cutting my extension at that final phase, and it usually results in me getting crashed on, which you'll see here later. So, uh, same thing here, I'm doing four, two, five singles between 112 and 120 kilo, uh, right between 82 and 85 percent for this week's progression. And then I'm adding a front squat in there because front squat is, you know, leg strength is always something I've been uh, plagued with as a weightlifter, trying to get that stronger. So when I'm in the, my my strength phase, I'm sneaking in some some high quality front squat volume and making it very applicable to the lift. Uh, and then I also like doing front squat because I, I am a strong jerker, so I like to kind of even the playing field out. So. This is my first rep at 120, uh, for, uh, precursor is 112, 115. And just really working on some nice drives there. Uh, things felt pretty good today. Now, my goal was to do 120 again. 
And as you can see here, the old habits came back, they die hard. I kind of shifted and banged my hips forward and I missed that lift, so I went back at it again. And same thing, I just, I don't fully stand up and I try to bop the hip out there. So I ended up uh, going back down here to 115 kilo and really focused on pulling the bar up into the hip, keeping my heels down. And obviously you saw the difference there, very clean lift, nice good front squat, nice vertical drive. And then things felt good. And I like dealing with ranges sometimes. So I had four to five sets to kind of make a call. If it felt good, I could you know, put one down. And I'm obviously staying in my range here of my 82 to 85%. So then I went back to 120 kilo, 265 pounds here for high block clean, front squat jerk. As you see here, so now I'm going into my bench press. So today's an upper body day. So when I was doing this here, uh, I was working my bench press four sets of anywhere between four to five reps. I like working ranges sometimes when I'm doing percentage base, uh, just because the body can kind of variable here. So this is 80%, a little bit of cheat on that bass blast rep here. Um, so, you know, paying attention to that, but I'm really focusing on just squeezing the chest at the top getting some good loading. I like, uh, in this program that I'm doing here, I'm doing some undulated work. So this is my 80% volume work. Last week was a little higher. I was doing 85 for two to three for more strength work. Um, and then next week I'm gonna be doing some 90%, you know, three plus uh, sets here just to kind of test it out there. When I'm working here, I, I really focus on keeping my elbows uh, slightly in and making sure that I set my back. So I really like doing a lot of arm bar work as precursor to this. I find that's been a, a really big helpful piece in my bench press training. I've never been a great bench presser, um, but I, I, do, uh, I do like to use it to build the chest and triceps. So then I went on to some more accessory work here. Like I said, this is uh, how I'm kind of blending my bodybuilding physique work in here and strength work as well as my little weightlifting. So I'm doing an incline press here, trying to focus on keeping my rib cage down and compressed into the body instead of flaring it up. Uh, sometimes when we get tired, we start to kind of flare that chest up, flare that lower back, and we almost turn it, even when you're on an angle, we turn it sometimes into a flat bench press. Um, so really focusing on you know, driving the rib cage down into the body. Sometimes I'll even like put my legs up on the dumbbells there, just to really kind of set that pelvis and make sure it stays neutral. Nice slow descent, deep stretch at the bottom, a brief pause just to keep tension on the chest and a, and a purposeful contraction. With here, I'm working pull-ups. So I'm actually got a weight, I got uh, 30 pounds between my legs here. So I've been doing these now for the past four or five weeks here where I will use a weight that I'm trying to get anywhere between, you know, five and eight reps. And then I do a drop set to 50% with, uh, with body weight, which basically means, you know, there I got five reps and then I'm dropping the weight and I'm getting 50% of those. So five, 50% of that would be two and a half. So I just round up and I get body weight for the rest of that. Um, so I'm doing four sets of that. And I find that to be helpful and that's really progressed my, my strength as well as my back. Uh, I find my back responds pretty well to heavy loading. Then I go back here. So I just did a superset. I think with supersets, the biggest thing here is like, just move freely. I'm not out here trying to burn calories. I'm out here trying to get strong and build muscle mass. So, you know, if your goal is to get swole and to get strong and to get, you know, build the muscle hypertrophy. Um, don't feel like you need to rush through things because if you aren't able to push the loads and earn, put your best foot forward, you're probably uh, not taking enough rest. So then I finished, I had about five minutes left and I ended up getting some metabolite work for my triceps. So I like to do this sometimes just at the end here to uh, get good quality work in, but also, you know, make it time efficient. So. I used a weight here that I was able to get about 20 reps for my first set, you know, 20, 25 reps. So I think I did 25 here, uh, kind of cut it short here for this video, but then what I'm doing is I, I had a number. So, you know, anywhere between 70 and 90 total reps, kind of how I feel there. So maybe, you know, the first week is, you know, 70, next week is, you know, 75, next week 80. So this today was 80. And I just kind of take my reps 
and rest where I need it. And then I'm coming back and I chip away. So I think I did 25, 15, 15. And then from there, I was just kind of chipping away at 10s and 5s. I'm really focusing on triceps, uh, getting that full lockout at the bottom, even if it's brief, getting that extension, trying to keep the shoulder out of it and really work on flexing at the bottom.